Hi everyone. So today I want to do a tutorial on how I clean my patent leather bags. So this is my Miu Miu bag that originally got me started off with this video. And as you can see, these little corner frames on the side, it's got four of them. Well, they all popped off. The bottom part started coming off. And then this part, they've got little screws. And so these just came off. And so I'm going to show you how I repaired them. There it is. Mew, mew. And um, what I did and how I did it. And also how I clean my patent leather. And so right now I'm going to show you how I clean this bag. And then I've got my beautiful Chanel, which is a Bordeaux color. There's the Chanel. There. And I'm going to show you how I do my patent leather Valentino red heels. My two favorite. I've got lots of patent leather belts, but these are probably the ones I wear the most. And so I'm going to show you how I do these two. This one's all patent leather, and this one has both leather, patent leather, and then just calfskin. And these are both Yves Saint Laurent belts. So they're designer belts, they're vintage, and as you can see, they're in really good shape. This one probably I wear it more, so I take I clean it more. So I'm gonna show you how I take care of that. So stay tuned and here we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do the back. And you wanna empty it out. And what I do is I take this inside out or I empty it over my bathtub or out a window, but over my bathtub and that way if I have any bobby pins like I had here, I won't lose them out the window. So that's the best way to do it. And then you wanna make sure that everything's working. If your zippers don't work, you take a pencil and just rub, just rub the sides and the lead will make it slide on and off. So you wanna do that if it, there's a zipper. And then also check and see what leather's inside because that you're gonna to have to clean too. So we're gonna use my favorite product for cleaning my designer items and that's the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Care Tube. And this is the eight fluid ounces. You shake it up really well. And what we're gonna do is I use my kids old cotton t-shirts this one's just cut in half and it's clean and so I'm going to put about that much on. You want to always put it on your cloth and not on your bag. And so then I'm going to start and what I'll do is I'll start on the inside and what you want to do, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going to try, is make sure you get in the crack because that's what's going to tear first. And so you just Rub it all over, gently, you know. Do your little leather hint handles here. There's a little leather tab here. So you wanna clean all that. <clears throat> and then in the inside. And then you wanna do your handles. Anna, keep it down. Now because this is my travel bag, I always clean my handles really well. Because in air parts, it's just gross. Now here's another thing you want to do. If you've got straps or leather straps, you want to make sure, see how this here is cracking a little bit? So I'm going to put a little extra on that corner. That way it keeps it moist and it'll prevent my patent leather from future crack. And so I'll do that. I've already done the back side of the bag and the underside. So all I'm going to do now is just the front side. And again, I'm going to put some cream on, and then I'm going to just rub it all over. And you're going to notice, it's hard to tell with the video, but that it's going to just turn a little on the chalky side. A little on the chalky side. And if you have some stubborn spots, like when I was in the Denver airport, I accidentally got some bubble gum. Some jerk left his bubble gum on the chair and I set my bag on it and so there's a really gross little bubble gum thing and that just won't come off. So I'm just gonna have to deal with that forever. So once you've done that, you wanna put your bag to the side for 10 minutes. Oh, I forgot to show you guys how I repair my hinges. So what you wanna do is, and I've already done this on all four, is most of the time the bottom hinge is gonna come off. 
So you want to get your glue. This is the E6000 glue. It's the best glue, crafter's glue. It does everything. Leather, plastic, you know, metal. It's perfect. It's perfect for kids' toys, too. You know, little army men lose their heads. So what I did was, is I took this E6000, I put it underneath the metal part, pushed it down, whatever came bulging out, I wiped off with a wet cloth. I took a paper towel, I wrapped it around my leather. I took my chip clip <laughs> and I clipped it together. That way, this holds it on that, and I left it on there for 24 hours. So that's what you want to do to get it done. Now, on one of these here, it's funny, some of the paper towel got stuck on. So the way I'll get that on it off is just with a warm towel. Okay, so that is going to sit there and set. The second thing we're going to do is the shoes. And what we're going to do, the same exact thing. You know, just rub your shoe. Now, the only downside with patent leather shoes is that on the heel, if for some reason you scrape it, which we all do, it's over. It's done. Nobody can ever fix that. So be very careful where you walk. And because these are Valentino, they're all leather, I will do the inside and make sure they're all, all over wiped and cleaned and taken care of. If you don't clean your patent leather, it'll get a weird chalky, foggy kind of coating. And then eventually it'll crack and break. So that's why it's so important to clean your patent leather. So we've done that. And then we're going to do the belts. And so I usually start with the inside of the belt. Same exact process. On the cloth, we're going to put and you just want to rub it in, rub it in. I'll set these down like this and I'll just clean and rub it and make sure it gets all moist. And then I'll flip it over and I'll do the shiny side. And because this belt I wear the most, you really have to work it and clean it. So I've already done half of it. So I'm just showing you how I set up and do it. And then you want to do the same thing for the other one. On the cloth, you put your cream and you just wipe and rub it. And if you see a little spot, just, you know, apply some pressure and clean it. And the same thing over here. Perfect. And now, if your patent leather cracks, it's over. It's done. So don't even bother trying to glue it or fix it. Okay. So now we're going to let these set and then we're going to clean them. This only takes a few minutes. So what I'll do is, I'm going to do my shoe first so I get that out of the way. And I just take a towel, like a hand towel or a face towel, terry cloth, and you just rub it. And it is just so freaking cool. I mean, it's beautiful. It's like that red, glossy lipstick, you know. It's amazing. You want to make sure you do the inside. How awesome is that? And then I put my little tab in. Put my little, this is, I mean, it came with the shoe, so I just keep it. Oops. Push that in there. And then you put it back in the bag. And in the box. I don't keep my shoes out because I don't have space. And then we're going to do the same thing for this. So I'm going to take my terry cloth and I'm going to start at the top. Do the handles. Do all the inside. All the way around. I'm doing it really fast so you just can get the idea. And then you want to just polish it with the terry cloth. With your towel. And that is basically how you should clean your patent leather.